India is on a meltdown. 44% youth in our country today is either unemployed or unemployable. And this is not me saying, this is a data from Niti Aayog and CII. If India is facing its biggest challenge, India is also having the most energetic population in the world. And that means the time is ripe for someone to take the charge and tell the youth of the country, which is all of you, that you have all the capacities, all the capabilities to earn billions of dollars through your two hands. Yes, you heard me right. So in today's video, we are going to come up with fresh ideas to start simple biotech companies. Now, in my previous videos, I have told you, don't try to jump and create a very complicated company because that's not something which is your forte. You have to start from small. You have to start from A to reach Z, right? You always have to remember that if Kiran Majumdar Shah today is very successful, then she also started with very basic biotech business and that is in enzyme, right? Enzyme manufacturing is what she did. Now, today, she's into drug discovery, she's into CROs and whatnot. But if you have to become the Kiran Majumdar Shah of 2047, then you have to take charge. So somebody has to become the Rashmi Bansal, what Rashmi Bansal did to me. Yes. Rashmi Bansal is IIM alumni and she wrote a book called as Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish. And in this book, she compiled top 20 or 25 entrepreneurs from across India. And those stories she has woven into a nice book. Probably you can read that book. I'll put the link in the description. Stay Hungry, Stay Foolish book inspired me. And of course, a lot of people inspired me to start a company. But today I am here to tell you that you can also start a simple biotech company in your city. Why for a biotech job you have to go to Bangalore or Hyderabad or Ahmedabad or uh, Uttarakhand? No, you can start a simple biotech company and earn millions and billions of dollars right in your city. How to do that? Let's discuss in today's video. Now, the first things first, I'm going to highlight 10 ideas. You can choose whichever you want. If you want more clarification, more details about any particular idea, put that down in the comment section. If I find time, definitely I'll reply. Now to start with, the first and easiest one is genetic testing kits. So I'm sure you must have heard of genetic testing kits, right? So what exactly is genetic testing kits? Well, if you can develop affordable genetic testing kits, which is easy to use and which can help us find the ancestry, health risk and personalized nutrition plans, then you can sell it to anybody in your city. So, how to do that? More details will make a separate video. But very interesting thing, genetic testing kit is one area in which you can build a simple biotech company. You can just look at other companies which are doing the similar thing, understand what they are doing, how they are doing, and then you start doing that in your city. Reach out to people, create awareness, tell them that genetic diseases are real, educate them about the genetic diseases, and then sell your kits. People will buy your kits, and then you do their ancestry and entire analysis and then you can tell what all diseases they are prone to, whether it is a lifestyle disease or whether it is a genetic disease. And then you can be earning more than the doctor in your city, right? And then once it starts taking off, you can hire more people in your company and then you can, uh, you know, go into other cities, right? So genetic testing kit is one idea where you can get started and employ a lot of people. Now, the second idea is biodegradable packaging. So you must have seen plastic waste, right? You must have seen the climate change uh, meeting which we had in iBiome a few days back, right? So biodegradable plastics or biodegradable packaging, if you could create, it could be from araconite or it could be uh, something which you do with uh, bacteria so the, or the PET that it starts degrading. You could create environmentally friendly packaging solutions which can be then sold to either restaurants or to Swiggy and Zomato. And you could probably you know, go and reach out to some scientists in IIC Bangalore or TIFR and CBS and see if they have something similar or CSIR also licenses out such technology of bioplastic. And then you can, you know, create this. And how can you do that? You can use agricultural waste. You can use other renewable sources. And now this goes mainstream. You become the green champion of our country and you generate a lot of jobs. And not just biotechnologists, you could be employing a lot of blue-collar people. Imagine they are poor people, you would be able to give employment. So that's a simple second idea. A biotech company out of nowhere you can create using agricultural waste. So the third idea which I have for you is on plant-based meat 
alternatives. You must have seen so many animals getting killed, right? So if you are a vegan or someone who empathizes with animals, I'm sure you do, then you must be thinking that what if I could, you know, contribute towards saving animals? What if we could create a meat for which we don't need to kill the animals? So all you have to do is do your research, read research papers, reach out to scientists who can help you, and then start the production. Of course, you will fail. Initial first month, second month, six months, one year also you might fail. But today's failure will make you tomorrow's hero. If you can create a meat which tastes like the real meat, but it is based out of plants, imagine how many animals you'll save. You can again be the green champion of our country and give employment to so many people. So yes, you have plant-based meat alternatives. Innovate on new plant-based meat products and that are more affordable, tastier, healthier, and targeted towards both global as well as local markets. So you could be the real billionaire out of nowhere if you just follow this one idea. The path looks a little difficult, but definitely the market is huge, huge, huge. The next idea which I have is personalized skincare solutions. And somewhere even the genetic testing comes into picture here as well. So you must have observed that some people have sensitive skin while some people don't. So what if you could create plant-based skin care alternatives, which is chemical-free, which is, you know, not having any carcinogenic effect. And you could use, you could use your biotechnology knowledge to develop personalized skin care solutions, products tailored to individual genetic profiles and skin conditions. So someone who is responding good to uh, your product will never ever stop using it. So you would get a permanent customer, right? And this is a very simple idea, right? You just need some essential oils, some uh, plant-based extracts, and then you get started, right? And once it starts succeeding, you can put it on Amazon, Flipkart, and then you can hire so many people, biotechnologists who will further refine the product and make it large. All you have to do is get started on this idea today. Let me know in the comment section which among these ideas you liked so far. Now, the fifth one which I have for you is microbial fertilizers. We all know that fertilizers are chemicals and chemicals are harming the plants and in turn, they're harming us and then it'll lead to cancer, it'll lead to a lot of other lifestyle drops. So, what if we could use biofertilizers which are as good as the chemical fertilizers? They have beneficial microbes to enhance the soil health and at the same time boost the crop yields, but without any effect on the health of the farmer, the end consumer, and of course, the plants. So I believe this is a great idea if you are interested in, or if you are interested in the agri-domain, or if you are an agricultural graduate. Now, followed with that, this is the sixth idea. is again a billion-dollar idea I've always covered in most of my videos. Simple idea, learn bioinformatics, offer bioinformatics analysis uh, services and consulting services to big biotech companies and research institutions and pharmaceutical companies and healthcare providers. Start with freelancing, start with your own laptop and once you have, once you've got 10, 15 clients, hire some more bioinformatics and then the cycle continues and then you, your job is ju just to get the clients and these bioinformatics will keep doing the data crunching, you keep delivering the projects and that's how you win. Bioinformatics doesn't require anything, just you need to learn bioinformatics and of course you can do that at Biotechnica. Now the next one which we have is the artificial intelligence in biology, again an offshoot of bioinformatics but an advanced level. So what do you do here? You apply artificial intelligence and machine learning in various aspects of biotechnology, whether it is microbial research, whether it is uh, detergents, whether it is, you know, caustics, whether it is agriculture, whether it is anything which is remotely related to biotech. Also, you start applying artificial intelligence and machine learning and companies who are in this domain will come and hire you as a consultant or a freelancer. You could earn billions and then you can hire other people who would be earning thanks to your initiative. So that is where you have the AI ML services. The next one which I have for you is medical waste management solutions. Now, I'm sure your city has a hospital, right? And I'm sure there is not just one hospital, there are many hospitals. Have you bothered to know where exactly they're disposing those um, contaminated, um, you know, uh, medical waste? Well, they might be incinerating it or they're just leaving it outside. What if you start a medical waste pickup truck which goes and picks up that incinerates or you know degrades it in an environmental friendly manner and then you go and inform the hospitals they will become your permanent customers because this is a big pain point and hospitals are really scared because if the municipality gets to know about it they will really cancel the license of the hospital. So all you have to do is go buy a pickup truck or 
you know, maybe you're van and just start a medical waste decomposition business and you are in business and it's a biotech company. It's a simple biotech company. Slowly you will build upon it and uh, get into uh, medical devices, delivery, deliverables and other things, of course. But you start with simple. Once you've started making money, go one step broad. Next idea which I have for you is, of course, into again agriculture because agriculture is the mainstay of Indian population. So that is where organic pesticide comes in. So previous I saw, told you the microbial pesticides. Now is the time for organic pesticides. Now develop natural and safe pesticides pesticide based out of neem and other things using biotechnological processes to protect crops without harming the environment. So again, this is a nice idea targeted towards 45% of the economy, which is agriculture. Now followed by that, the last one, the 10th one which I have for you is probiotics. So probiotics, you know, gut health is a big uh, thing today. So people are looking at probiotic solutions. There are a lot of off-the-shelf companies which are selling probiotics. You can also get in here in your city, you have to just take a FSSI license to sell. You have to formulate and market probiotic supplements aimed at improving the gut health, gut brain axis, immunity and overall wellness. All you have to do is start conducting such meetings with health conscious people, gyms and all. And then you have to tell them that you have this probiotic product and sell it. Once the channel is built, it keeps selling like hotcakes. I know a lot of people who are doing it and it's really a good idea. So, so far I told you 10 ideas. There are multiple other ideas which I might cover in the next video. But so far, I believe that entrepreneurship begins at home. So first things first, create your product, sell it to your parents, sell it to me. Or if you need a mentor, you need help with how to market it, how to um, make sure that this product, whichever, whatever you plan to create can go bigger, come and meet me in Bangalore or we can schedule a meeting together where I can guide you on how to do this. So uh, I, I do a mentoring for a lot of startups. So definitely I can help you out there. So remember, these ideas are just the starting point. Imagine even if each person, I gave you 10 ideas, 10 people start 10 companies and hire 100 people, we would have employed 1,000 plus people here, right? So I believe we, ha we all have great potential, you, us, and this synergy can actually potentially create employment for tens of thousands of people who are in biotech and who are feeling that they are being left out. But somebody among you has to take that initiative. If you are that person, let me know in the comment section what kind of company you want to start and definitely I'll come back to you and try to help. Thank you so much. Keep earning, keep dreaming, keep moving forward. Remember, no dream too big. Whether it is a small dream or whether it is a large dream, the effort is going to be the same. So why not you know, see the bigger dream and win? All the best. Thank you.